Hello and welcome to the podcast. Another week has gone and I don't even know where it went, but I'm excited because we're in Christ and we're a little closer to heaven and heaven is for real. Oh, sometimes I think about it. I, I tell Peggy, I said, you know, I know the creator of the universe. And she says, I know you've told me that already, but I do. He's my personal friend and I am going to see him one day by faith now, but then face to face, and you will too. And we're going to talk about that today as we continue on in our study about the power of the blood of Jesus. We're going to talk about overcoming. And I want to tell you something. Jesus is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And if you are going through something right now, this message is for you. You're going to overcome. You're going to succeed. This too shall pass, and God's going to be glorified. And you're going to come out stronger than when you went in. And you say, Pastor Frank, really? And I say, yeah. I mean, I'll, I talk to the third person because I'm talking for you, but I really know what I'm talking about. Because people would say that to me on occasion when I was going through something, and I'd say, I don't want to hear that. But they were right. I have become a better pastor, a better nurse, better person. Because we stay with God. See, we're talking about overcoming through the blood of Jesus. And the one thing that you cannot do that I have done, and I know I'm talking about, is quit. I quit two times in my life, and I know. And it, what, it took years, two, three years, to get back to the place I was before I could start growing again. And I told the Lord, I'm not quitting this time. And by the grace of God, I haven't, and I'm not. I'm going forth and on to completion because I've got to fulfill my destiny and complete my purpose in God. It says, God is good, and all things work together for good to them that love God, to those who are called according to his purpose. You have a purpose. If you quit and, and don't overcome, you know, I believe the Spirit of God inside you will, will help you get back up again. And you say, I've got to go. I've got to retake the land that I lost. Now, it says in Revelations chapter number 12 and verse 11, And they overcome him, the devil, that Satan, that old serpent, by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, and that they love not their lives unto the death. So see, there is some little qualifications here for overcoming. And that is that you, you know, lay down your life. You love not your life unto the death. And also, by the word of their testimony, that you, you confess him before men. You don't hold back what God has done for you. But you will overcome by the blood of the Lamb that you will have a testimony. Just don't quit. You love him right unto the end. And this is, this is my scripture, but I'm going to share it with you. Because, you see, I have learned something as I've grown a little older, and that is that should the Lord tarry, although sometimes I think he could come any day, I want to leave behind my testimony. And that's why I wrote my autobiography, and that's why I did the audio book, which I want you to get. It's on Amazon. Please go. The Story of a Soul 2. It's about four hours of listening, and it's me reading it to you. But it's my story. It's my testimony. And when I was reading it as we were, you know, taping it uh, to prepare to distribute it, uh, I really got blessed, and I told my wife, Peggy, I said, you know, I love, I, I encourage you to read, you know, listen, because it's your life too. But as we listen to all the testimony of what God has done, you, you get strong, you get confident. You get, I said, wow, if he did that then, he's going to do that now, and I'm getting back up again, and I'm going for it, <laughs> amen? Because we got one life to live, and I say, live it for Jesus, because everything else will pass away, but what you've done for Christ. So the Bible says, to him that overcomes, Comes, I will give various rewards. And you can read about that in Revelations 2 and 3. To each church that would overcome, I will give th this reward, that reward. And I say choose to be an overcomer, not an undergoer. God wants you to overcome, not undergo. Everybody undergoes everything. No, you're different. You're special. By the blood of the Lamb. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of your testimony, who love not your life unto your death. Now, we've talked about justification by faith in the blood, sanctification by faith in the blood, forgiveness of sins through the blood, that you have a new covenant through the blood. There are so many benefits to this package that... We're going to continue to unfold them over the next five weeks as we complete this series. Listen to it. Re-listen to it. Take it. Especially if the devil's condemning you. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus because you're justified, sanctified, forgiven. 
And when you take this by faith, something happens inside you. And the Bible says, a good man gets back up again. Though he fall, though he fall, he is not utterly cast down. For that he is upheld by the righteous right hand of the Lord. He will lift you up. He will pick you up. He will give you that hand to, to lift you up and out. And he's done that for me many a times. It's as though a good man falls seven times, he gets back up again. I have claimed those scriptures, and I, I even acted out. I'll lift up my hand. I said, could you help me up again? <laughs> could you pull me up again, Lord? And I'm telling you, he has never failed me, and he'll never fail you. And he wants you to run that race. He wants you to reach for the prize. He wants you to win. He says, run to win. Beat your body. Bring it in subjection. Play by the rules so that you run to win. There is a prize that is waiting you. I'm telling you, you overcome. Don't you let anybody steal your crown. No, that's yours. But you are also the one who could forfeit it. And I'm in, encouraging you. I'm going to pray for you right now to overcome whatever situation you're going through because I know that somebody out there is really going through a struggle. But God is going to give you the victory. Amen? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I'm asking you to lend out, send that hand, helping hand that you've so many times given to me to lift them up and to help them to stand and to help them to get back in the race again and to run the race to win, throwing off the sin and the weight that does so easily beset us, reaching for that prize. Help them to get up again and run to win like a chariot of fire and let them grab a hold of that victory by the power that's in the blood of Jesus to be forgiven, sanctified, <laughs> victorious. It's all our, all things are ours, it says. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, I think I preached myself happy. This is good news. Maybe they should call it that. Oh, wait, that's what they call it. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm funny sometimes, too. But anyways, it is the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Accept it, receive it, walk in it, and tell a friend about the program for me. Let's grow it. Drop me a line at frankjulian5 at gmail.com. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you next week. Bye for now. God bless you. On behalf of Frank Julian Ministries, we want to say thank you so much for listening. We upload podcasts every Thursday on Roku, YouTube, and audio podcasts. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. If you need prayers or are seeking a prayer community, we're here for you. Come join us on our Facebook page, Love, Prayers, and Healing Podcasts with Pastor Frank. See you next week.